Hello to everybody, Future Trend Channel is glad to welcome all of our readers and for the date of uh, 20 of September 2018 we start our everyday analysis of uh, how to trade major currencies in the world uh, financial markets. Today uh, we'd like to attract your attention uh, discussing um, the overall situation with uh, um, uh, with uh, uh, weakness, or with the current weakness in the United States currency, which should be associated, first of all, with uh, the fall in the demand uh, for the United States currency from the point of view of um, safe haven status of the United States currency in the environment of uh, uh, trade conflicts uh, uh, between the United States and its uh, major trading partners. Also, there is uh, some other um, interesting news, uh, some of them uh, associated with uh, the current uh, um, situation regarding uh, um, signing, uh, with, uh, re uh, let's say so, regarding um, the Brexit negotiations uh, and uh, possible signing of uh, European Union a UK trade agreement. And, uh, here uh, we already have uh, some kind of negative news uh, that uh, compelled uh, the sterling to subside from uh, the highs uh, registered during previous trading session at 132.15 to the current level of 131.50. All in all, let's say, uh, let's start from uh, the cable. Uh, the situation still here remains uh, more or less uh, mm, favorable for another spike higher in the price of sterling despite uh, of the latest uh, negative news and uh, so on uh, regarding um, uh, existing uh, problems uh, uh, of uh, with uh, let's say with Irish border and how, uh, how to regulate uh, the situation around um, Irish border in the future uh, trade agreement between the UK and the European Union. All in all, here we have a kind of uh, a trend line uh, of 2018 uptrend line that located around 128.75. So uh, we suggest that any kind of dips uh, to the level of 129 should present a buying opportunity from uh, a point of view of a medium to longer term speaking. Uh, also, from the point of view of uh, more uh, longer term uh, charts, we should uh, emphasize um, the fact that uh, moving average uh, 200 daily line located at 134.90 and a while above, uh, a while below that line, the longer term positions, uh, position of the cable should remain more or less. Uh, weak and uh, that means that in the longer term run the cable should remain under selling pressure. Of course, we should uh, we should not underestimate uh, the possible signing of trade agreement between the UK and uh, and uh, uh, European Union basing on uh, Brexit negotiations. Uh, of course, it, in case of sooner signing of such kind of agreement. Uh, that means uh, that uh, the cable could uh, really uh, could really improve its bullish uh, situation and uh, make another two three big figures uh, higher. Pro probably in that case uh, we even could retest uh, could test uh, as I mentioned a moving average 200 daily line. As regarding the situation with dollar Swiss uh, here. Mm, uh, we should uh, concentrate your attention on today's uh, Swiss National Bank uh, monetary policy decision. Of course, nobody expects some changes in the LIBOR rate or in the LIBOR corridor, uh, but uh, more important will be to focus on a possible uh, um, wedding of uh, the SNB members regarding current strength of the Swiss franc. Especially uh, that should um, apply for the Euro Swiss cross because as you know for the Swiss economy the European Union is uh, the market number one and that means uh, that Euro Swiss uh, in this environment could be even more important for the SNB than uh, for example dollar Swiss despite of the um, 
overall a trade uh, turnover between the United States and uh, Swiss and uh, Switzerland. At the moment, uh, there is a kind of uh, strong uh, resistance barrier around 11350, but more important is uh, the falling uh, downtrend line uh, of the Euro Swiss uh, that's located today around 11420. While below that level, the situation should remain uh, fragile for the Euro Swiss, and that means that uh, we even could test at the level of below current uh, uh, lows registered around 111.80 and that means that even we could test a psychological important barrier 110 in the post in the future uh, time in the forcible time uh, i mean uh, next uh, one or two months uh, of course a lot of will depend on the reaction of the s b members uh, that's all at the moment uh, we wish you a pleasant and profitable uh, day ahead and um, also as you could see uh, we slightly increase our target level in the euro dollar that's because we suggest that it's time time is ripe for uh, for a break of the level 117.50 and taking into account a row of uh, strong stop loss levels above stop loss orders about 11750 we suggest that even uh, the level 11850 next important uh, upside barrier could be tested uh, during uh, the next couple of sessions the time will show see you tomorrow in the morning it was your future trend channel